What is going on, everybody? Before we show you the puzzle, I wanted to take about 20 seconds to say thank you very much for sticking with me as my channel grows on this learning journey. I always appreciate any feedback, regardless of if it's a comment or the people I play with on chess.com and lead chess, uh, you know, a message over there, letting me know on things that they like and don't like or ways that I can improve my presentation and when I make my videos, whether it be the thumbnail color or the way I, you know, click the pieces and move them around the board. It really does not matter. Any input I appreciate, just like I appreciate literally every single one of you guys. And I just don't say that, you know, every single one of you guys is a future person that I can learn something from or enjoy a night just by playing chess with you guys. Feel free to add me on chess.com. It's usually where I play some dumb trucker. Let's get this underway. We'll give you three seconds to pause the video so you can take as much time as you need to solve this puzzle. One, two, and three. The proper move is sacrificing your knight on the A3 pawn and letting the bishop recapture. You can't swing it out to D2 and then B3 because it's just too slow. The black king will close ground and remove your knight from the square, preventing them from promoting. Your other two pawns can't promote. The bishop prevents the h-pawn, and the pawn prevents the f-pawn from promoting. So it's just a losing game. You have to sacrifice it to prevent the a-pawn from promoting right off the get-go. So once they recapture, it's your move again, and we'll give you three seconds to pause the video for the next move. One, two, and three. The only move that works is pushing your f-pawn to f6 using an interference tactic. Black will recapture. And this way, their bishop can't go back to the b2 square and have access to the corner up on h8 on the long diagonal because a piece is in the way now. So it's your move again. We'll give you three seconds to pause the video. One, two, and three. The proper move is putting your king now on f5, preventing their pawn from moving off that square, which blocks their bishop from accessing that long diagonal through the b2 square. Black will reply by moving their bishop up to f8, gaining a different angle on attacking your pawn. So it's your turn. We'll give you three seconds to move. One, two, and three. Well, this one I thought was kind of obvious. You got to march up your h pawn to h7. Any other attempt just doesn't work. If you bring your king over to g6, they could just take out your pawn, and this is going to be a draw game. You just don't have any other way to promote a pawn, since the king will take out your c-pawn first. So as I said, uh, you're going to march up to h7. Black now is going to put their bishop on g7 now, and it's your turn to move. We'll give you three seconds to pause the video to think this over, and we'll wrap up pretty shortly over here. One, two, and three. This move is pretty sneaky you got to bring your king to e6, and you're threatening to bring it to d7 to promote your other pawn now. Black has to reply and stop that, so bringing their king to either c7 or c8 does that. And the reason why moving your king over to g6 doesn't work, the pawn will tuck itself away in the corner, and there's no way to access to a threaten to kill that bishop other than going to the f7 square. And if you do that, they're going to have a runaway pawn. And it's just a little too slow. They get a queen, you get a queen, and it's a draw game. So as we said, you gotta go to the left on the e-file. Once you go to the e-file, they will reply with king to c7, and now it's your turn to make a move, and we'll wrap it up shortly. Give you three seconds to pause. One, two, and three. Your move is going to be king to f7, and their move is going to be bishop to h8. We will give you three seconds to pause the video. White to move. One, two, and three. Your move is going to be king to g8, threatening that bishop. And black's move is going to be pushing the pawn to f5. So they can get an escape square for their bishop. We'll finish this up for you. Uh, the next move for white is going to be capturing the bishop. If they tried blocking in your king, let's say by abandoning the c-pawn, it's just too slow. You get out of there quick enough, and if they tried doing something like marching the pawn racing down, 
it doesn't matter you get your queen just a little too quickly and a series of checks you should be able to pick up the pawn down on f2 so i hope that you guys enjoyed this puzzle i put it together took me a little bit there was a couple problems and issues i had in designing it but nothing that stopped me from you know wrapping it up so i hope that you guys are all ready for the summer those in the northern hemisphere and ready for the winter for those on the southern uh so many things so many things to do i'm in the process of making like seven different videos just chipping away slowly at all of them and that's why i haven't been releasing too many videos lately other than my chess and the story and the occasional you know flim flam puzzle but as i said i appreciate you guys feel free to drop a comment let me know anything that's on your mind or some way that i can improve so i guys will catch you on the next and i will see you all then ciao